What's up everybody, Nash Harrington with CraveOnline.com. We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood in Los Angeles, California for a special behind the scenes look at Halloween Horror Nights 2012. We're gonna take a close look behind Texas Chainsaw Massacre maze and the Walking Dead maze. And best of all, we get to talk to John Murdy, the guy behind all these mazes that's doing all the designs and all the creation. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm standing here with John Murdy in front of the set for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, you guys went back and, and did this based on the original movie. Tell me about the decision behind that. You know, I, I've always wanted to do the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We did the remake in nine, or 2007, 2008. Um, but, you know, one of the first horror movies I ever saw was Toby Hooper's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it totally freaked me out and disturbed me so uh and toby's a big fan of the events come many times so i've always been saying to him over the years hey we got to do the original and lo and behold here we are doing it now we already did a little bit of a walkthrough of the house and got to see some of the rooms in this specific one in, in the texas chainsaw do you have a favorite room in the house that you really like I like the dining room because it, you know, it's such an iconic scene in the film, and I think it's really cool that we have the entire family in that scene, and you know, even going to the links of the way we're doing the audio, so all of that great dialogue from the film is all happening live in front of you, um, and really, it's all just one elaborate setup because the scare is Leatherface with his chainsaw, but it's cool the grandpa, the old man, Sally, the hitchhiker, uh, they're all there right in front of you, and it's in from a prop standpoint, it's crazy because you got all that bone furniture and skin lamps and it's quite a challenge for our prop crew. Earlier last week we were here uh, to check out the Walking Dead walkthrough that's based on the first two seasons so that nothing's given away for the third. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you choose the scenes that you guys chose for the maze and what was your favorite room again for that one? Well I think um, what we wanted to do with the Walking Dead is make you feel like you're reliving Rick's journey. You know it starts in the hospital just like when he woke up from a coma and to me that was always incredibly terrifying and unsettling is you know the poor guy <laughs> He's in a coma and then he wakes up and the entire world has changed since he's been out. And there's just certain things that we feel are very iconic. You got to see the dead inside doors. You know, there's certain characters that are extremely iconic. You got to do Bicycle Girl, which is really challenging to do live. Uh, well Walker, you got to go to Herschel's Barn. And one of the crazier ones was the tank. And I think that might be my favorite, that Atlanta scene with the tank. Because uh, when we were, Chris and I always watch, we watch every single episode together over and over and over again. And when we were doing that, I was like, well, you know, obviously we can't do a tank. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a full-size Abrams yeah. tank. And he just kept looking at me and going, I, I, I have an idea. I think we can do the tank. And, and sure enough, he did because we built a full-size, yeah. you know, Abrams tank in that maze. And that's really incredible. Yeah, it looked really neat. Now, the last thing I want to ask you is for all the different mazes that people are going to be going through and the haunted tram section where they get kicked off the tram and all the fun stuff they're going to do, do you have any tips for survival for anybody that comes through this year? Well, that's presuming you're going to survive, right. you know. Right. So I'd say that's a 50-50. Okay. chance if you're dealing with the the zombie apocalypse stay in groups good. don't go off by yourself good point good point all right well john thanks for spending time with us and i can't wait i'm coming back on the 21st and we're gonna see if i can make it through thanks our pleasure all right. thanks guys <laughs> nash harrington with craveonline.com we'll talk to you soon